So what I want to know is... Oh, return to your rented apartment when you're done. That means we can go back and read the best readable ever, which I'm sure you're 100% serious. Oh. And it's still there. What is this place? It would be wise to find some information on who these guys are. Also, that keeper there was Dan Thrawn, I'm pretty sure. And now I never get to hear from him again. Oh, whoa. Let's go to our marshmallow mothers and betray them for their hypocrisy in our lives. I don't know what I'm saying, but when is that new? Hey, it's old-fashioned, good old-fashioned, Roxburghy, Seven Sisters, he likes. I can't say the letter V. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, well, it's more stuff we can't hear. Hey, great. Look at these stairs. They're long-winded. Uh, and these things, they just... It, it, why... Why is this text just constantly... See, it takes up the whole screen. You know what? Fine. Let's just give up on subtitles. Because clearly they're making more of a mess of things than even the green country did to the realm of producing apples. Oh, look it up on Wikipedia. Please don't. It probably doesn't exist, and you'll be sad. Scribe Cedric, we welcome you to First Keeper's Watch. Your task here will be to assist Keeper Julian with his chronicle on the ancient artifacts found in Carath Din. You will find a map of the compound with his letter so you can get acquainted with these sacred halls. We trust you will prove an excellent acolyte. Yours in knowledge, Superior Elder Nathaniel. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Ooh. And that text is slightly more pixely, or a lot strange. Maybe it was put in after the fact or something. And another enormous, enormous mission. Hall of Glass, that sounds awesome. That sounds like the librarian. And there's a restricted library, so you know libraries are something to do with it. Yes, hello, half the screen subtitles. If I don't have you on, nobody can hear anything. Sense it. Sense what? This peculiar aura, all of a sudden. Yes. Now that you mention it, I've never felt anything quite like it before. We may have been compromised. Come, let us inform the others. I have all the Just when I thought this fight. city couldn't get any more sinister, there's a whole damn secret all organization. Right. No more fooling around. <sighs> Show yourself right yes. now. Don't inform the others. I'll compromise you and your mom. Oh, you're actually good. What incredible. Okay, I thought it said who's inconceivable at you. So, they're just gonna come up this way, probably. Oh man, I don't care about no peculiar auras. Let's... Oh, there's tile. I probably have 18 moss arrows. Probably. Wait, this isn't tile. Just what I thought this city could get any more sense Never mind. There's a whole damn secret organization under it. Well, maybe if I bop them out, they won't inform anybody and then nobody will... Who are you? And what are you doing here, intruder? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna want to play good in this particular case, and then, and then nobody will alert to me. You see what I mean? It's a brilliant, brilliant plan. Yeah. So I feel like these guys are definitely more alert, which you know is probably the case. Ooh. It wouldn't surprise I thought this city couldn't me at all. More sinister. There's a whole damn secret organization under. Human flesh. Okay, yeah, let's... Two moss arrows. Two! Oh my god. Two. Two. Wow, I could... Keepers keeping things from keepers. What a drollery. Yes, yeah, a drollery. You can go put your jetpack on and get color clash. Okay, so... It's not a forced ghost, but I am going to ghost because, you know, I want to at least look like I at least have some sort of skill at least a lot of leasts going on here i i don't want to be the most i want to be the least because it's like less likely to get me slightly embarrassed but i keep reloading though which isn't necessarily the best are you kidding me you are kidding me okay not necessarily the best way to show my leasthood modern pegatic one i want to kind of hear them actually talk instead of having the engine, the stupid engine, like, oh, lol, you drop an inch, but it's onto a stupid object, so, like, right. no enjoy your around. clack Show there. Cannot hide from us keepers. Yes, I can. 
That's something I'm not the least at. I am as good at hiding from you keepers as yaks are at flying. Oh. <gasps> You're supposed to catch me there so that I end up comedically wrong and then I can do a jump cut. Hey, you're supposed. I know someone's here. You're supposed to Reveal see me in the yourself. dark. I was promised enemies you that see me when they bump their crotch on my face. I can't believe how let down I am. Maybe I should stop trying to go straight into this place, or at least stop trying to go onto the sides. You're not a lackwit. If there's one thing these guys are not, it is lackwits, because uh, as you see, they're actually very good at their wits. So these aren't proper keepers. These are keeping things from keepers. They're like a subsect of keepers, are they? They are, you know, the word sect is funny because if you say it no, they don't in plural, the then it sounds like sex. <gasps> uh, I know what else sounds like sex? Intel's upscaler. Okay. Okay. So I should probably take an actual look at the actual map here. Um, you come in. It's not marked. Because obviously, why would it be marked? It should be marked for me, but on the other hand, it's not going to be marked for a scribe, so... Ah, pfft. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, there was a staircase that I came down, but there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Maybe I'm... Maybe I came down that one. Maybe this is the central library. Probably. I'm going to guess I'm in the central library until proven otherwise. How's that sound? Ooh, nice. Nice. This does kind of remind of Roxburgh 3, but of course... It's proper keeper, you know, this dark evil order who disagrees with us. Oh, no, 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 no. They're bad and should not be trusted. The Builder's Machine. In the beginning, everything was dark, raw, and wild. <laughs> Life was limited by the fear of shadows and the beasts within, all ruled by the monstrosity that is the trickster. And in the middle of this eternal night, the first sparks of light brought with it the Master Builder, enveloped in a bright shine. Chasing the darkness deep into the maw of the beast with his hammer, he offered his vision to mankind so that they would see all that surrounds them, and gave them hands so that they could process the raw into the refined, cleaning away all impurity. And so did the faithful, guided by his wisdom, start to follow him as a beacon through the mist, so that man learns instead of fearing, tames instead of enduring, and faces instead of fleeing. Thus did mankind under his guidance explore forests and change its clearings into villages and waters into bridges. This is how the Builder's Machine came to be, transmitting his teachings to his children so that the knowledge keeps going and the world keeps expanding beyond what is unknown and dark, taking over the uncontrollable and looking into the face of nature to build the realm he envisioned for the faithful. Whoever contributes to his dream is a part of his machine, working like a cog so it moves further in wisdom and light across petty wars and ignorant squabbles. Cursed be the ones who work against the society he made, because there is no worse sin than stopping the march of progress with FAKE! Knowledge! Stolen tools and laziness, I would have maybe said false. So be it known to all of those worshipping the trickster and the basic instincts he infused in the hearts of beasts we used to be. Praise the Master Builder! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, keeper places are awesome. I haven't said that yet this episode, but yes, they are very... Uh. Amazing. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not even going to put those out because it's just so cozy in here. This is the make-out room for sure. Where you can be away from prying eyes. Of course, if we were really enlightened, we wouldn't need to be away from prying eyes. The eyes could look straight at us and they just wouldn't have any reaction. It would be as normal as eating lunch. Can you believe the dream, my friends? Can you believe the dream? No more saying it's dirty and acting like it's somehow positive. Instead, there's just no big deal being made at all. That's my dream anyway. Obviously, nobody else is, though. Let's have a petty war and squabble over it. Oh. This is, like, so pretty. Oh, my God. Look at the colors. I mean, okay, it's, like, 16 color MS paint 1993 or whatever. But, you know. Oh, I can't turn the candle back on. I should I should have left it on, but I guess... I guess the colors are pretty enough even without. The Glyph Warden was upset today. I thought you said he was used today. The Glyph Warden was used today. Well, good for him, and no trouble there. Whoa. If one wants to be used. How did you get in? 
Yeah, they notice. They notice even a bop. And they're equilibrium okay. keepers. Eesh. I don't even know. Maybe maybe they even notice bodies in the dark. Just a wild guess, but you know, since they're better at their job, that might be one of the things that could call you better at your job. <sighs> call. Je m'appelle good at my job. Oh my god, this place is freaking gorgeous. Damn. Are you a ladder of light? No, you're just a marker for an ordinary ladder. Oh. Uh, you know, ladders, you're kind of supposed to land on them when you land on them, if you sort of see what I'm saying. Ooh. Ooh. These halls are not for profane eyes. You cannot be allowed to leave. Ah, that is Danthron. Because the readme said Danthron played a keeper, so surely that's got to be Danthron, okay? I don't really want to go down here, but I'm curious as to what he's studying, don't you know? Ooh. Yes, I know this is what my life has come to. I'm almost to my goal now. The stupid squirrel tail market has decided to behave in a way that slightly benefits me suddenly, so I'm going to hit my goal, and then I'm going to realize I've wasted my entire potential. I, like, I'm really actually upset and antsy about it. Oh, crap, I saved. Not good. Not bad, but not good. I'm just gonna have to hold tight. Crack, don't mess with that speed, don't mess with that science of mine, mess with that. Well, I guess if, you, uh, if you're if you strong enough and where you stand that you don't mind what other people are gonna think when you mess with science of mind, go ahead. It's like a church, except not at all what anyone claims church is. And no one knows it's a thing. Not believing that God refers to a personified being, or that it's a he that will judge you and send you to hell or something. That never happens. Everyone knows that that always happens, because who has to study? Who thought it was a good idea to merge your face with my fist? Honestly, who could it possibly have been? A brev... History, brave or brief, of the city's great families, composed by Keeper Creon, second law master, during the year of 754. So, we're only a hundred years, not even like 75 years or something on from this. And we're already super ancient talking. As it was commissioned by, I guess that's not, I guess that's fine. That's, that's how it is in real life. By Keeper Lutetius, third Keeper of Dark Watch. But afore a crowd, he trampled underfoot the imperial decrees of his own cousin instead, thinking that there was none left alive in the entire barony who was interested in seeing that they should be carried out. Because of this particular event, the heritage of the Black family's blood lineage was the issue of ambitions and interests that went way beyond simple blood feuds between powerful families, for the baron and the emperor were willfully engaged. Thus was the... <laughs> Thus was the prefiguration of... Catherine Black's woes half a year after when she sowed the seeds of a short but violent civil war between her two remaining brothers. Paragraph 6. On the state of childlessness, not childishness, of Lady Catherine Black and its consequentias on the Mad War of 398. However, to understand how the Civil War rang the death knell of the Black Dynasty, one must make a pause and understand the incident that took place a little before the aforesaid events. So is the Black Parade the parade of the Black family and not the parade that is Black? Old and childless, Lady Catherian thought about adopting a parent more or less close to her to pass on her opulent heritage. She immediately designed Rusward Bresling II, to whom she immediately offered her favorite Chatelaine Juman Court, as well as her enchanted hair comb. But, be it either because she wasn't really convinced by her own choice, either compelled to give in more pressing topics, or either subjected to a whim of fate, soon after the designation she tried to nullify this decision to the benefit of Lady Lionella de Crayard, widow to the late Thomason de Crayard, which would had let her sons take over her fiefdoms soon after her death. If the chronicles are to be believed, this was only motivated by Catherian's graciousness, who only wanted to restore the once respectable de Crayard house, who suffered disgrace by the hand of the cruel Lord Thomason, who bribed petty vassals and knaves, upon the orders of a warlock, rumors said, to assassinate the grand compulsor Maugre the Bald, 392. If the imperial bureaucracy raised their entire castle to the ground in response, as well as dispatching assassins, Thomason de Crayard, however, managed to obtain a pardon from the emperor himself through influence and well-placed bribes before ultimately meeting his strange doom, devoured by his very own horses. 
This second, strange indeed, this second adoption sowed the roots of Discordia, as far from being the gentle and verecund noblewoman described by the chronicles, Lady Lionella was swift in taking full advantage of her newfound situation by securing gauges and complicities among the local gentry. For his part, Rusward Bresling II still purported to assert his rights and brought both Lady... Catherine Anne and Lady Lionella to a trial for the Imperial Diet, the latter refusing to settle the dispute. Now, that's the most exciting book I've read in my entire goddamnable life. And my life is possibly goddamnable. I mean, if we are the kings of our lives, then we may damn them as we choose. I guess that's a super wise sounding thing to say. Right? I wonder what the interpreter meant by this. All that noise? There's only a s small amount of noise in here. Don't nobody worry. Don't nobody make a plan like a man, like a span. Read only spans. They're useful. But creating them isn't free. And you might actually end up with worse performance if you create them in a loop. It's sort of fascinating. Also, people might turn candles back on. No, maybe they just relight torches. I wish I could relight torches. That would make my godhood Complete. So I kind of want to go to the second floor, as it's pretty. As always. It's pretty, but I guess this floor is all right too. Council tower, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so now, I, okay, I know where I am now. Is that you, Elder? Yeah, that's me. I could be elder than you. I don't know if I really am, but it's possible. I'm, it's plausible. I mean, I don't know. I look like a pretty old guy in the videos, and I sound like a pretty old guy, too. Oh, may my ASMR voice be as old and crotchety as possible throughout all time. An old time, possibly. <laughs> you know, because all kind of sounds like old if you say it like, all. Oh, oh, the chainsaw. Chainsaws all. Oh, 1600 again. Well, at least the loot goals aren't absorbent, absorbent, adsorbent, or exorbitant. Not any of those. Hey, it's a dining room just like in Roxburgh 3. Truly, what a ripoff. And there's even beams just like in Roxburgh 3 and a fireplace. Truly, what a ripoff. No one has ever dined like this before. <laughs> it's the center of the table is where the gold candlestick is. Not the head of the table, so the most important person just kind of sits straight on the candlestick with it up his butt. Yeah, thumbs that down. I don't know what I do wrong sometimes when I get two thumbs down. It's like a normal video like any others, but oh well. The Blackbrook Connection! It did not take long for the Baron to declare war against Blackbrook. The rival city had been raiding the vast farmlands and outposts belonging to the Barony for months at this point, and its guild of inventors was, and still is, coming dangerously close to inventing the most powerful war machines mankind has ever seen. The Hammerite Order, which has a very strong presence in Blackbrook, wishes to remain neutral in this conflict, a fact that provoked the ire of both the Baron and Queen Annette of Blackbrook, who would almost go as far as to accuse them of conspiring to reap the benefits of the outcome of the war to the detriment of everyone else. While it is not known at this time whether the Hammerites are taking any profit from the situation, what is known is that the Undermarket is thriving despite both city-states being in a state of total war. Indeed, it is quite common to see contraband, gold, goods, or even livestock smuggled across the front lines by sleazy merchants who have enough power and lucre to bribe soldiers and officers alike. Many criminal organizations have sent ambassadors and other representatives to both cities to establish a permanent connection between them. A relevant example would be how Jordan and Mofiodas, two genius inventors with several factories in Blackbrook, have managed to sell sell their wares to the city's underworld for a hefty price, while keeping this operation a complete secret for now. Note, a thorough list of undermarket guilds and merchants is sorely needed. Soaring through the air and being needed. Both things that are equally amazing in their own right. Hmm. Oh yes. Being... Well, being needed, being wanted at least, is... An amazing thing in its own right. Needed, who knows? That could be a different definition in the scientific almanac of discovery. What the? That, that book, book doesn't, doesn't belong here. I didn't take any book or move any book, bro. So I don't know what you're complaining about. But also, was there even any books? No. <laughs> he didn't see a book. It's not like. It's not like the Dark Mod or whatever that thing was I was playing where, like, they actually react to the actual thing in front of them. Yeah, like, 
that dark mod mission where they actually react to the, they say like, there's a guy on the stairs, no, wait a minute, that's not, that's like Thief 3. It's just basic stock, bone stock Thief 3. Oh yeah, hey, Thief 3 is awesome, ain't it? Okay, what's all this dormitory? Ooh, seems very mystical. Sleep. Sleep is truly the most mystical thing you can lucid dream, but be careful if you end up doing something in a lucid dream that scares you. You might think that you're a bad guy, bad guy, etc. Is this the second... Is this the vent I was in before is what I'm trying to say? Uh, um, probably not. Probably not. But I don't know, maybe it leads to the similar sort of place. Well, there's mushroom in there, boy. How did who get in? Wait, you're talking to me? How did I get in? Is this supposed to be a conversation? Um, I'm just gonna ignore that. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just there to... Maybe it's just there to scare me. You see? I'm not just being methodical and going along one floor constantly. I'm going along randomly in a way that no one can even fathom. You see? Aren't you proud of... <laughs> There's probably a cook, I would guess. Oh, hey, split the bread. How cute. You know, in a kitchen, one would sort of expect there to be a cook so as to prepare the food so as to not just pointlessly have food. Yeah. The Codex of Fungi by fellow Terraborn. Lumicus, inedible, common, found mainly in dark and humid environments. Also known as light mush, this mushroom is typically consumed by cave animals, such as Burrix or the giant bats of Bon, who then spread its spores via their feces. In humans, consuming a light mush could cause intense pain in the stomach and make one's body fluids glow for up to a week, though it is not known to cause death. Succularius ungula, deadly, uncommon, found mainly in swamps and cemeteries. Known as the trickster's hoof, this is one of the most lethal mushrooms on the continent. Eating a trickster's hoof causes hallucinations, hematemesis, and finally death in less than three minutes. Oh no, hematemesis. You don't want that. Probably. Due to its effects, possessing this mushroom is considered a crime in seven cities and heresy by the Hammerite Order. Green mold, inedible, common, found in many environments with decaying life forms. Also known as moss crystal, the green mold is a harmless fungus feeding from dead organic matters and water. It is recognizable by its specific shape, which looks like a crystal made of moss. Despite causing no damage, the mold it produces is invasive, and several laws order its removal whenever discovered. Ingesting green mold is known to be good for the health, but its volatile aspect also means a high risk of suffocation. Therefore, it must only be administered by professional physicians. Selenus clavus, edible, rare, found in forests for several days following a summer thunderstorm. Was, uh, shaped like a red nail, this mushroom is difficult to notice due to its tiny size. Its unique spicy taste and medicinal properties make this one of the most researched mushrooms in the region. Many scriptures, many scriptures refer to it as the ultimate remedy to all diseases, but there is no scientific evidence that proves this yet. Yeah, a panacea. It should be called Panaceus mush. Yes. Panaceus Mushus. Yes, that's what it should be called. I have no idea why it isn't. These people must be stupid. Okay. Oh, it's the dining room again. Amazing. Well. Oh, wait a minute. Is this... No, this is the second floor, so that's just not even on the map. So wait a minute, what? So that's the central library. I must be off somewhere else completely then. Dining room is way over there, okay. Yeah, I am off somewhere else completely then. And once again, I'm strictly limited in which food I can take to an apparently random degree. That's what you get when you want to get a job, but you can't because you have to have a random degree. Any degree at all, and they'll give you a job, but if you don't... Oh. Then hell have buggers on you, my friend. Hell have buggers. <laughs> This is the bathroom reader. A compilation of Hammerite treaties, Volkluxi. Whereas the said peasants have been notified and informed by the Holy Concilium of the Hammerite Order's said envoys, it was the decision of the Order to limit and control the seed's nature and origin here and after mentioned and to take an oath on the good intention and to ensure peaceful trading relationship between the Order and their village. 
the said inhabitants of the village aforementioned do agree to cover, modify, or destroy any icon, fetish, or symbol described as impure or tarnishing according to the Hammerite Order's principles. Also, they do agree to accept to order the Hammerite Order's holy hammer icon within their village hall. Any villager involved in witchcraft is ordered to immediately renounce and pray to the builder under the supervision of an official from the Hammerite Order in keeping with to the aforementioned laws. And with a view to show the satisfaction of the Hammerite Order with the behavior and good conduct of the villagers to this treaty, the Holy Concilium of the Hammerite Order, through its envoys, makes them a present of ten pounds of nails and hammers for each inhabitant belonging to the village here mentioned. Wow, riveting reading for the bathroom. Well, I guess, I guess it's long-winded, so that might be a benefit in this situation. <laughs> yeah, that's two different possibly valuable things that have been found in a bathroom thus far. Amazing, and the toilets are square instead of form-fitted. Even more, wow, this is like cool, actually. The roundness of the Acolyte's quarters, the dormitory. Truly, it reminds me of that one mission, the, the inter-theft, where they had that whole place with like other roundness, but slightly more of an organic matter, so it's pagan, so it's great. I like the pagans, okay? Those Hammerites, they're amusing, but they're also dick faces and jerks. Both of those things at once, which, while impressive, is also dickish and jerky, and you put those things together, you get an orgy. So actually, I guess I'm forced to say I like the Hammers, too. I have absolutely no choice in the matter. Selen, you wouldn't believe the sort of things that happen here. Recently, I was crossing the Hall of Glass when a figure ran toward me in a state of total shock. It was Keeper Oliver, trembling like a terrified child, his features sunken as if in death. A few of our brethren guided him to the infirmary as he screamed hoarsely and without rest, claiming that he'd witnessed statues moving and speaking in voices to make your skin crawl. I can't imagine this sort of breakdown taking place at Dark Watch. Is this Dark Watch, or are you saying that Dark Watch is so shitty that they would never have a breakdown like this, and you'd better watch your back, Mega Man? Yeah, maybe. Okay, as much as it pains me to see that the standing part of our ancient downtown sanctuary has been a cat house for a few years now, literally or figuratively, the invaluable knowledge within its books squandered and used as fuel for the fireplaces, being able to watch the new occupants through the statues is a blessing for our pursuit of careful observation and chronicling. Enchanting statues and households is an incredibly hard task. Give so they know about enchanting statues? Then why are they surprised? Uh, given only to the very best elements of our order. But what are the odds of a derelict keeper compound being used as a hotspot for all these decadent nobles? All these secrets ripe for the picking. As far as I can tell, the tower... So you're not more upset about all your secrets burning? <laughs> as far as I can tell, the tower complex has not been reached by anyone yet except an old tribe of Kraymen. The cave-in and the subsequent flooding about a century ago were the perfect opportunity for them to proliferate. The scriptorium statue does not permit me to see how ruined the tower complex is, nor am I able to see anything else except scattered books on the ground, cobwebs, and blue pincers. The other enchanted statue lies at the bottom of the cave in the soil. I wonder if the Chalice of Souls is still there. I think it's about time you and I mounted an unofficial expedition and retrieved our precious tomes and this artifact. Just imagine how handsomely we would be rewarded. Oh, they're talking about the brothel. Decadent nobles. Interesting. Yeah, that's a different story entirely. That's the Chalice of Souls. It's a good mission. You should play it. By orders of me. Go play it right now. Oh. Go play it right now! Or be forever cursed to be called a Hammerite and not invited to the pagan orgies. Compendium of Modern Medicine, Volkxi. I can actually read that. Vol 23. The, the Syrian cut, a spleen surgery method. Make four gashes ten inches long under the heart with a thin blade. Ugh. Remove two ribs using a cleaver. Remove the damaged spleen and apply five drops of balm oil onto the arteries before stitching. Note, if balm oil is insufficient, replace it with ech echinos oil or an equivalent thereof. Anathema. Thanatosis, slowing down the necrosis. <laughs> Extract two pounds of flesh from a walker and boil it for six hours. Cut the flesh into pieces and serve it to the subject thrice a day. Note, such treatment can lead to episodes of aggression or violence. Keeping the subject restrained and under observation is highly recommended. Yeah, that's medicine, isn't it? Oh, modern medicine is fantastic for surgery, shit for anything else. Uh, and that's about my opinion of it. I, I am very, 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 very 
very, 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 very experienced in such matters, so you know you should believe me and worship me. Oh, wait. Uh, uh. Twas surely an apple. Nervous after meeting an elder like me. Okie doke then. Uh, yeah, I feel like this didn't really have any effect on anything. I'm just going to assume that guy's fine. I'm sure everything will be utterly hunky and dory. A hunky girl named Dory is what everything will be. You might find this impossible, but I... But I say... <sighs> no, it is not impossible, just like UFOs, which are now apparently in the realm of science, according to somebody. Truly, fantastic. Who would have thought things would degenerate this far? Everyone. Okay, now I don't know where I am, because I skipped, jumped, and hopped the floors... And now I'm skip jumping and hopping the floor. So, oh, hoo, 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 uh oh, uh, I can't even put that light out. Well, not permanently Somebody's anyway. Oh. A skulking's never skulking, mate. Don't you be getting all up in my grill. Will you stop making noise? Will you stop not having darkness in your darkness compound? Years. Back to work. These. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm gonna bop out Dan Thrawn. <laughs> oh man, I bopped out Dan Thrawn, you guys. Truly, I am the god of all thief taffers. Oh yeah. So godlike, in fact, that I will now rise to heaven on the wooden stairs of fate. Oh, look at heaven. That's so heavenly, I think I'm actually gonna leave it here. Next time I'll explore heaven truly be anointed and whatever else you do. Bye!